I really want to start um, providing you guys with literature. I mean, it's one thing to put a gun in your hand at the range and to do knife reviews and, and all that kind of stuff. If, if you're looking to learn and you want to increase that learning curve and, and really get some good knowledge, you've got to find the right literature too. You've got to find the right books, the right magazines, and you've got to plug into those things. You've got to learn. And I'm sorry. So I know there's folks out there that don't like to read. Sorry, but you got to read, man. You, you just got to do it. So there's so much amazing information out there. This is one of them, okay? This book here, number one national bestseller, The Gift of Fear. This guy's been everywhere you can imagine, and I know this book review I'm doing is way late, but I'm going to plug him anyway because this is an absolutely phenomenal book. So, Gavin DeBecker, um, The Gift of Fear, and and I what I what I did, I'll, I'll give you a hint here. A couple of things I did is um, I use sticky notes as bookmarks, and I love it because they stay in the book better. You know, you just put the sticky side down, and just just put it out just a little bit, so it just kind of sticks out a little bit, so it might get tore up a little bit. What I do is have a pen with me as I'm reading a couple things I like to do one and 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 I gotta I gotta be honest with you I, I haven't done this forever I just kinda started doing this the last couple books I've read is when the the authors are referring to other sources and other books I like to write them down so I can continue growing my book list and what I also like to do is sometimes I'll keep a piece of paper handy and I'll write down quotes and stuff that I like throughout the book um, because there's some great stuff out there and and they'll use quotes from other people too so you can kinda double up your your quote ratio but I just want to read a couple of these quotes out of this book fantastic stuff okay this is one of my favorites right here context is the necessary link that gives meaning to everything we observe now <clears throat> taking that a step further we keep getting all this anti-gun stuff from all these crazy politicians out there and not one of them ever sets the context of what they're doing as correct and they're very ignorant to that because there's no cut and dry solution to any of these issues we're dealing with these shootings or anything like that there you know there are solutions um, but there are no cut and dry solutions so the context is everything it's just like that big saying if someone, if someone told me years ago and this is so true it still rings true today they said Damon the answer to 99.9 percent of all questions okay so the answer to 99.9 percent .9 of all questions is it depends and that is so true context is everything so I really like that one okay um, he's even quoting William Wadsworth in here um, in ourselves our safety must be sought by your own right hand it must be wrought so great one there um, here's one I really loved there may be a time in your life when you too won't have the luxury of saying you don't recognize someone's sinister intent. Your survival may depend on you recognizing it. I cannot hit home on that enough. That thing is absolutely phenomenal. So, Gavin Becker, The Gift of Fear. This thing talks about intuition. It talks about recognition. It talks about understanding the purposes um, of what we're doing. It's, uh, every school teacher needs to read this. Every principal, every administrator, every parent needs to read this. Hey, if Oprah can read it, you can read it too. This thing really is a phenomenal book and it's, it, 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 it outlines things in a way and a mentality and things like that. It gives you tools to focus on to improve with your own recognition and profiling kind of you know techniques. Um, just phenomenal, just absolutely phenomenal. There's just so many good things in here, and, and I don't remember. I folded some pages down. I can't even remember what all of them are, but it just talks about coworker fear, paranoia, criticism, blame, hopelessness. There's some really great things. I think. Oh, these are um, certain. Um, what chapter is this? Yeah, I folded this down because the, I, I'm probably going to do a blog post on this or something. Let me sign it up, find out put the chapter okay so this is what it is occupational hazards occupational hazards right there and it goes over different aspects of the occupational hazards right like inflexibility weapons sadness hopelessness identification coworker fear time paranoia criticism blame crusades unreasonable expectations grievance police encounters media focus contact so 
just certain aspects. So everyone needs to read this because you. How many times have we heard of coworkers going crazy, and and, co and so people need to read this so they can kind of learn to recognize characteristics and and behavior. That's what it's all about. So gift of fear. This is a major A plus plus in my book. I read this. Um, a buddy of mine bought Steve Beckstead. Steve's done some videos with me. You'll have, if you look at the very beginning, way back, um, drawing a firearm from uh, with a coat, vest, holster, stuff like that. Steve is the man. He's a NRA master training counselor. He's amazing, and uh, he bought this uh, for 75 cents at a gun show. I think he he found it and bought it for me. So thanks, Steve. Awesome purchase. I love this book. Uh, I read it um, a few months ago, and it's just it's just phenomenal. So. Um, it's worth the purchase but read it the information here it's true it can save your life it says right here this book can save your life see so it's on the cover it must be true right <laughs> awesome awesome stuff all right Gavin and Becker gift of fear there's one more book to add to your list get it read it apply it awesome like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter and uh, come to the website say hi appreciate it